What is up guys, Jared Spalding here as usual. Today I just kind of wanted to give a little bit of my prediction for silver prices as of 2025. So you may have seen all those videos, radical theories of people saying silver is going to be by 2020, it's going to be like $700 an ounce. I personally do not believe this. And I'm talking about five years later than some of these theories. Do I think gold has the potential to reach $10,000. I believe that just a little bit more than I believe silver has the potential of reaching $700 or $1,000 an ounce just because of how rare it already is and how much more rare it's becoming. You know, I do, I mean, gold I do think has some more potential maybe in that, but silver has the potential to go up more times than gold, I believe. Gold may go, I mean, even if gold becomes $10,000 an ounce, it'll only go up eight times. Silver, in order to become $700, will have to go up 35 times or more in value. So, I do believe silver, of course, has more potential. But what do I believe the prices are going to look like? Now, for 2025, I think silver is going to be around $150 personally an ounce. Maybe a little more or a little less. I mean, you know, give or take maybe $10, but I definitely think that by 2025, that's what's, that would, that's what the silver is going to look like. I think gold's going to be maybe 4.5 or 5 grand per ounce, but um, this video is supposed to be about silver, so let me give you a little bit of story why I think what I think about where silver is going to be priced. The reason I think that silver is going to be about 150 or so is because um it like based on the charts I've seen and how it can jump around I am trying to kind of almost put um into perspective a, a major jump in price for silver by 2018 to 2019 somewhere around there a uh, major jump just like you can usually see you know, I'm trying to add that into the factor because I don't think that on its own silver could steadily climb in 10 years several times in value. I really do think it's going to have to have kind of a jump. You know, like, for example, um, silver for a very long time back in, you know, um, early, well, depending on where you live, it could have been 2000 or 2009. Uh, different countries had different times, but when silver went drastically down to like seven dollars an ounce, but then it went back up. It shows you silver can really make a recovery, but silver can also jump up without having to make that recovery. You know, I mean, back in the late 1990s, early 2000s, you could buy silver for a couple dollars an ounce, maybe five to eight dollars an ounce, depending on what part of the U.S. you lived in. Or where you lived in the world in general. And of course, now it's, I mean, we consider $15 low per ounce, but to them that was like double its value. So, you know, it really, it really shows that silver can jump, and I do think there is going to be another jump that's going to bring it up uh, about $40 an ounce. So, you know, it's, it's I mean, I really, I don't know. It it's possible that um that's yeah, not gonna happen, but you you never really know with that sort of thing. So like I just I just think that um it is gonna jump up, and by 2025 I think it's going to be around 150 dollars an ounce. So thanks for watching, especially with all the noise in the background. Sorry about that, but thanks for watching this far. If you did. Uh, if you want to see my other videos, check out my channel, and with that I'd like to say peace, love, and much respect.